Alright guys, welcome back to Life is Strange True Colors. Last time we finished our LERP session, we stole Charlotte's anger, and then we're getting ready to listen to this voice recording from Gabe. So let's see how it goes. Okay. Alright, I guess I have I have no other choice. Is this what was on the thumb drive? Is that what I'm understanding? Type in safety. Mac? It's me. Fuck off, Jen. Yeah, yeah, okay, just listen. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit. He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll hold the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever. Just doing my job. Well, this puts a hole on Typhoon, Typhon's whole narrative. Ignored him. <laughs> it's so fucked. You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. Oh, is this where her anger is going to come to play? Alex. You okay? We're going to get him. I promise. Oh, yeah, she's angry. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't matter. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. He's... Instant. That. I don't need to take this. I should follow her. We'll be right downstairs, all right? So that's uh, instant consequences from taking the anger from Charlotte. However, our anger wasn't directed at Steph, and I find her response very, like, me central. All that matters is taking these fuckers down. This USB stick has what I need. Time to dig through it. If that happened to me, what's happening to Charlotte? A key part of any good investigation. A cold case and a warm beer. Brian brought this down from his station. Hope it comes in handy. Thanks for spilling your guts. Okay, before I explore what's on the thumb drive even more. Her, I can't take this, and then walking downstairs is very, like, self-centered, in my opinion. I think Alex has every right to be angry. Right? Maybe that's just me. She didn't handle it correctly, no. However, we didn't throw the bottle at Steph. Like, we threw it at a wall, for one. And for two, we didn't throw it at Steph. This like, it time, wasn't because of her. I don't think Gabe would mind his little sister messing with his stuff. Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at... 8.41 p.m. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. All right, so 8.41 p.m. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hello, Diane. My name is Rory Praha. I'm a journalist Praha. at the Gazette. We'll be printing a story on last night's accident in the paper tomorrow. Would you like to provide a comment? Yes, I would. Last night's accident was tragic and made all the more unfortunate by the fact that it could have been avoided with a simple phone call. A simple phone call? Can you speak more about that? Of course. Typhon always has a safety manager on duty. One quick call from Mr. Chen to our 24-hour emergency line would have alerted us that there were people in the danger zone, and we could have reacted accordingly and stopped the blasts. Are other Haven citizens in danger of meeting the same fate as Gabe Chen? Absolutely not. As long as you heed the warning signs, you will be safe. And if you ever do find yourself in an emergency, that's what our emergency line is for. There's no danger whatsoever. All right. We'll be sure to include your comments. Thanks for giving me your time, Diane. Have a nice day. I like I how I threw up listening to that. I like how I picked the one that's the very next day at 9 a.m. Like, I had nothing to do with 8.41 p.m. This is ACFD. How can we feed you? Is the good picking chicken thing still going on? It sure is. Nice. Uh, let me get a large order of the spicy nuggets. 
Excellent choice. I wish it told you how long each call was, too. Or the mashed potatoes and gravy. Oof. Uh, okay. I, uh, sir? Oh, fuck. Um, sorry. Do you, do you need a minute? No. No, no. I'm, uh, gonna go with the bis... Uh, potatoes. Yeah, let's just do potatoes. You could do both for 50 cents extra. Oh, my God. <laughs> you still there? Yeah. No, um... No, that's okay, just the potatoes. Oh my god, there's okay. a giant spider. Hang on. Uh, Guys, my life just flashed before my eyes. He was a baby wolf spider, but he was mighty. Might I say, he was mighty. And he just, like, crawled from the depths of my desk onto the wall. And he just crawled up. And I was like, what the fuck is that? Alright, anyways, I don't remember what I was doing. Oh, I was listening to phone calls. I was gonna have a chill night. That'll be ready to pick up in about 30 minutes. Thanks. Uh, Lace Flowers, this is Riley. How can I help you? Hey, babe, it's me. Mac, hey, what's up? Oh, this is before lunch. they broke up. Oh, you're not going to believe what J-Man did this morning with some of the new dad. Hey, so I'm not sure about this part here. It's Mac. Is that Gabe? Hey, Mac, can we talk later? I'm kind of busy. Busy how? Let's hang out when you get off, okay? Hold up, why is Gabe there? Okay, talk soon. I love you. Wait, Riley. Oh, Mac. So I can kind of see if, if that was the kind of conversations Riley had with him about Gabe being her friend. I can kind of see where he was jealous and where he was coming from. I think that my girl was hella suspicious too. Hi, plumbing. How can I help you? Hi, I'm, uh, I'm of Typhon Mining. I think we had one of your plumbers up here last week. Typhon Mining. Uh, give me just one second to check our records. Yes, I have a record of a service call regarding some sewage backup. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, so, um. I don't think it's fixed. The field report I have says that the issue was diagnosed and solved. Can you describe what you're seeing? Oh, uh, it, you know, I, I really can't. Look, can you just send someone? I'll have someone out to you later this afternoon. Great. Have a nice day. Yeah, I doubt it. Nasty. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hi, Diane. It's Rose down at Town Hall. Hey, Rose, how are you? Oh, I'm busy as a bee this time of year. You have a second? Some folks have come in here with some questions about the expansion and all that. I was hoping you could give me some answers to pass along to them. I'll do my best. What are the questions? Let's see here. Okay, first question. How many jobs do you expect to create by opening a second pit? We'll be starting with 25 new positions, but that number is expected to grow to 45 within the first year. Oh, give me just a moment here to jot that down. Alrighty, next up. A uh, number of questions regarding risks for pollution. Water, air quality, et cetera, et cetera. Anything you can offer there? You know, let me pass that on to our environmental outreach department. They'll get back to you with all the relevant fact and figures. Oh, sure, sure, no problem at all. And last one. They want to know if there will be more mining vehicles driving through town. Yes, we will be increasing our transportation needs somewhat with the expansion. But to minimize disturbance, we plan to direct drivers to stick to approved trucking routes. And of course, never after 6 o'clock. Never after 6. Thanks so much, Diane. That's all I have for you right now. My pleasure. Have a good one, Rose. You too. Diane is really good at pretending to be a person. Okay, so this should be Gabe's call. Diving safety. Mac? It's me. Fuck okay. off, Jen. Yeah, so yeah, we're okay. gonna ignore Just this one, I which is I what I'm assuming the explosion. Lena. is Hello, the next Diane. one. Is it because I don't wanna watch it and then not be able to control? listen to the rest of these. My emotions? Someone was killed last night because of a decision you made. I think I would be very careful with what you say next. Who do you think is more at risk here? Me or you? Excuse me? Now, of course, we're all committed to helping you make it through this difficult period. We don't want to see anyone be scapegoated over an unavoidable accident, right? Right. Great. Then you and I are aligned. Who else knew there were people in the mountains? Just my safety manager, Mac. He got their distress call just before I contacted you. Do you trust him? I... I think I can convince him to be trustworthy. Good. Good. Only one point of contact, and you've got him handled. I think we're going to make it through this just fine. Speak to you soon. Okay. I refuse to feel bad for Diane in all this, but damn. HNB Investigations. Bennett speaking. Hi, Bennett. This is Diane Jacobs. Lena told me... Yep. 
Been expecting your call. Okay. I'm not sure what the next step is. Just need all the pertinent information on the employee in question. Name, number, address, significant others. We'll handle the rest. I see. Just come by the office. My secretary will take everything down. No records that you were even there. Got it. Okay. I will come by tomorrow. Looking forward to it. It's so gross that Typhon has people watched. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Diane, it's, uh, it's Jason. Hello, deputy. You have good news for me? I suppose I do. You are officially cleared to continue regular operation. The county no longer considers your pit an active crime scene. It well, should. Huge relief. Now, to be clear, the investigation is still open and active. Typhon hasn't been cleared of anything yet. Sure, I understand. But can we start mining again? Yes, you can start mining again. Is there anything else? Nope. No, nope, that's it. Well, thanks for the call. Yeah, no problem. Take care, Diane. You too. Seems a lot easier to get away with murder than you'd hope. Typhon Mining. Diane? Oh, hey, Joe. How are you? I'm good. Doing real good. So I have a pretty good list of candidates to go over with you. Looks like I've got 40 names. Great work. When can we go over it? Uh, hey, Diane, can I be candid for a moment? Please. It's just, well, we've all been following the news and, I don't know, after that accident. Joe? I just want to be sure there really are positions waiting for these people. There's nothing to worry about. If you have qualified candidates to show me, I have jobs to offer them. Glad to hear it. You free Tuesday afternoon? Around three? Sure. Great. Looking forward to it. Me too. See you later, Joe. I hope Typhon has a nice severance package. All right, let's Dana, go with this. It's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Who's Is that Rhea? What you want? No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. So Typhon thought Rhea, whatever that is, was worth risking our lives. Let's hope Diane's email sheds more light. What is Rhea? Oh, look, there's an email archive. Yes. All right. Which one should we start with? Let's start with the oldest one and go for it. Who would have thought getting away with murder would be so bureaucratic? Hello, Diane. I'm emailing you to inform you that we've set a date for the inspections on two, your two sites. Please thoroughly review the info below, and I'll give you a call in the next couple of days to confirm the details. Uh... All right, inspection for 4-30-2019 will be um, going down on the closed shaft to ensure Typhon has the proper precautions to stabilize the land post-collapse. Oh, I can click on those, maybe? And I thought above-ground mining was terrifying. The timing of all this is too convenient to be a coincidence. And that proper shaft closure procedure is, was followed. This is a general protocol ins inspection. Please run business as usual on this day. I look forward to meeting you, Jake Asher. Okay. Too bad money can't fix all of Typhon's problems. Hello, Diane. Sorry to hear that you're having troubles with your hauler. I spoke to some folks about getting the brakes fixed, but uh, given the upcoming expansion, I've decided to go ahead and buy you a new one. Uh, we'll send you out a 789 hauler. It should be efficient enough to handle the two pits. The bat guy said that they'll have it there next week. Wait. Does this mean someone at Typhon feels actual human emotion? No. Not buying it. He's talking about Dennis. it like it's a sure thing. Damn. Is this what Diane sold her soul for? After our recent conversation, I took the liberty of ex expediting your application to our executive training program. We look forward to uh, with you your enrollment as soon as you have the situation in Haven all wrapped up. What a polite way of saying, I control you and don't forget it. Situation? You mean that guy you killed? This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? I warned you, Lena. I fucking warned you. Rhea went off undetected as you insisted, and now someone is dead. You better have a plan. I am not going down for this, at least not alone. 
Uh, and then at the bottom, I understand that you're upset and emotional about t um, tonight's tragic, unavoidable accident. Therefore, I am choosing to overlook this momentary lapse of judgment. I'll be calling you first thing tomorrow to discuss how we move forward. I suggest you take the night to cool off. Rhea went off undetected. A second blast went off that night? What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea will be discovered. It was a diversion. They set off the blast that killed Gabe to cover up another one somewhere else. That's why they couldn't wait. If I could but find out where that blast went off, it might tell me why it was so important. But can we read the rest of those emails, please? Okay, I'm still looking at those emails. Thanks. A second blast. That's some Bond villain type stuff. He had a name and a life and a girlfriend and a sister. I bet this is when Diane decided to start copying evidence to this USB stick. Wow, that's a funny way to spell criminal negligence. Seems like a lot is hanging on these inspections. Hey, Diane, I wanted to congratulate you on your efforts at Haven Springs expansion campaign. I just got word from the estate that we're officially past inspection. Pop some champagne. You've earned it. All that's left now is to vote. I've been hearing great things of the progress in the town. Members sponsoring the spring festival was a nice touch. Keep up the great work. You're in the home stretch. Whatever Typhon was up to, it looks like they've all but gotten away with it. Of course, that was Diane's idea. I'm going to make sure this expansion fails if it's the last thing I do. All right, and then we have a file browser. Diane has dossiers on the entire Haven Council. That's not creepy at all. All right, Eleanor. Granddaughter student loans, medical expenses, a native to Haven Springs. Eleanor is well respected by the council members and citizens alike. She holds considerable way, um, sway and is unlikely to dissent on her own. Though her granddaughter was close to Gabe, she appears not to question Typhon's account on, of the accident. Typhon knows about Eleanor's dementia? Shit. Did they say anything about her dementia? Oh, okay. Um, Lucan. Uh, member since 2008, the Black Lantern, secured. It won't be so secure once we tell Jed what really happened that night. Jed is viewed as a local hero due to his rescue of the 19th Helldivers. During the collapse of 2008, a strong ally used him as a resource to secure the other council members' votes if necessary. Charlotte, um, business overhead, son's college savings, a well-known small business owner in Haven. Charlotte will prove instrumental to getting the buy-in on top of the other business owners and the 20 to 35 demographic. As um, Gabe's girlfriend, she may, lost the, may be lost to the cause. Corporate approved making a financial offer will receive the deal. I knew that affidavit gave me a bad feeling. Um, Ducky. Grief over deceased wife and strangled relationship with daughter. We've had um, been able to dig up very little about Ducky's past, but we do know that he arrived in Haven shortly after resigning from the board of his own company due to a falling out with his daughter. Ducky has voted with Jed in every prior instance, making his vote all but secured. Poor Ducky. I didn't know. Jason Pike, career as a sheriff deputy, seems to have a crush on you. Uh, Jason Pike has been the sheriff's deputy in Haven for over eight years. He and the company have skirmished over small violations in the past, but we have no evidence he harbors anti-Typhon sentiment. Double down on Typhon's commitment to the community. That's likely your best thing. Pike has a... Okay. Bigger fish to fry right now. Codename Dion? Do all corporations use supervillain codenames? Or just the evil ones? Crew present, 20, uh, charges prime, 20, misfires, note, significant, eligible, 428. This is about Rhea, but it doesn't tell me where it was. That's exactly the same time the blast that killed Gabe went off. Aww. Uh, crew present, 1, if any, explain, charges prime, 12, charges de detonated, 12, expected the hall. The expected hall was left blank. No permit? That's gotta be illegal, right? Was there anything else on this one that I missed? Yeah, notes. No notes. Cause you can't document a call you claim never happened. 
Diane has dossiers on the entire Haven Council. Okay. I just want to make sure I clicked on all That's, those. I guess Mac was right to be so paranoid. Holy shit. Mac's real name is John? Surveillance of the subject's home began 9.30 a.m. Subject remained out of view until 1 p.m. where he appeared to use the bathroom. Subject left home at 8 p.m. was um, tailed to the dispensary and back home. Subject remained in his home for a remainder of surveillance. Subject remained in his home all day, received one visitor identified as former girlfriend Riley. He went inside and stayed for just under an hour. Uh, subject's behavior appears to be consistent with depression. It feels wrong to be looking at this. And yet, I can't look away. Subject was followed to the wake and then to Lith Flowers. Subject argued with girlfriend and was seen talking to a woman as identified as Alex Chen. Erratic behavior observed, but subject seems to have calmed after interaction. Flight risk remains. Fuck. They saw that? All right, and then this one. This is Rhea. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. Oh, look, a map. Oh, wait. Ha do I have text messages? I have text messages. Just dropped a block of alabaster. On purpose. Because Her I wouldn't stop digging. Heard some kind of commotion coming from the Silver Dragon when I was walking to the festival. Everything okay? Yes, yeah, so good. Sorry, just dropped a big block of um, alabaster in the workshop. Thanks for checking. Uh, we'll officially be returning to normal business hours. Thank you for our loyal customers. Come see us. All right. Okay, and we have text messages. Oh, we have a couple. Um... Which ones have we read? Uh, you got it. Let's do it again. Hey, Ryan. I made Ryan tell me what this USB is for. He was very vague for my own protection. Uh, don't worry. I'm going to try my best to give you access. No guarantees. Depends on how the password is. Thank you so much for even trying. We weren't sure if you would. Well, you deserve the truth. Typhons obviously hiding something. Max still scared to death of them. Anyways, I'll um, be at the shop if you need anything. I really appreciate it. Um, okay, shit, sounds like his dad's picking him up in a few hours, too. Any ideas? Let me try talking, I'll be right there. Hero, dude, thank you so much, you totally killed it. Award-willing bard material right there. Thanks, you're pretty amazing, too, you know. Aw, shucks. Uh, Ducky says, Dear Alex, what a marvelous event. I'm glad I could participate in today's live-action roleplay. Uh, it brings me back to my days in theater. Did I ever tell you that I was once essayed the role of... Falstaff in my school's production of The Merry Wives of Windsor. With enough li um, liquid prodding, you may one day get me to recall a few verses and thank you for including me in the festivities. It's nice to take my mind off things. Anyhow, enjoy your first spring festival. I can still remember mine. Clear as day. Sincerely, uh, Reginald McCallister. Thank you, Ducky. You were wonderful. Hey, Alex. It's Ethan. I'm really sorry about that. The LARP was amazing. Really, you are a badass. Don't have to apologize. I had so much fun with you. Had a great time with your dad. Stay safe. Oh, and then we have a journal, which I'm not going to read uh, right now. So there's that. <laughs> All right. We have the Typhon Pit, Old Refinery, Old Mill and Processing, 2008 Mine Collapse, St. Coles, Prosperit, um, Prospect Lake. All right. All right. Let's. Okay. Let's. Um. Can I please go back here? Okay. Oh, nope. I did not want to read that again. I wanted to search it. Let's search it. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Why would they set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? Didn't Typhon just have inspections around the old site? They weren't mining for anything. They were burying something. They were burying something, guys. Okay, I guess that's the end of the episode. <laughs> All right, uh, we chose uh, Ryan to distract Diane, 40%, and then Alex took Charlotte's anger from her, 53%. Wow, that was our only choices, really? Okay. Alex made Diane sad, 75%. Oh, I didn't know I could play the record. 
Okay, 33% didn't play the record. Um, Alex did some weeding on the rooftop, 48%. Gotta take care of that garden, yo. Alex and Ethan were never knocked out in battle, 97%. Um, the troll was subdued with the magical powder powder 37 percent the serpent was put to sleep 57 percent steph stormed out of the apartment 52 percent um king tabler was vanquished in the final battle 100 percent uh riley doesn't know about eleanor's condition 66 percent how could she have found out um, maybe if we told her, I don't know. Alex helped the student focus on our work. 63%. Alex and Ethan didn't solve the jester's riddle. Oh, I didn't know there was a riddle. Was there a jester? I didn't talk to a jester. 41%. And Alex and Ethan helped the blacksmith with his work. 72%. All right, guys, we are on to the next chapter. I am going to end it here so we can start chapter four with a fresh start. So if you like this video, go ahead and press that like button. If you want to watch more of my videos, press the subscribe button. I make videos Monday through Thursday, and I will talk to your faces later.